What's up guys, it's Sidix here, and in today's video I'll be doing my best to explain the new DLC 1 map, Dead of the Night, for Call of Duty Black Ops 4 and how it fits into the Chaos storyline so far. Now, just a quick side note, I was supposed to release this video yesterday, but I had some problems with my chest, and I couldn't really breathe properly, so I had to postpone this. Sorry for that, but I'm, I'm trying my best. So, in this video I won't be theorising about events that may have happened before this map takes place, or the events in between this map and other maps in the Chaos storyline. Now, I've had some people ask me, like, when does this map take place, and as we can see from the intro cutscene, Dead of the Night takes place on March 20th, 1912, at Alistair Rhodes' English Mansion, where there is a party taking place. At the party is a phony psychic, a stage show cowboy, a retired general, and a bedeviled butler, who are the only ones to survive once the Order activates the Sentinel artifact in the wine cellar, in which they have Alistair tied up. Chronologically though, this map is the first so far in the entire story. After this map comes Voyage of Despair, and then comes 9, directly after Voyage. Some people have also questioned the purpose of this map in its entirety. The purpose of Dead of the Night seems to solely be backstory. If you have yet to complete the Dead of the Night easter egg, or seen the cutscene, I'll play a part of it right now, which I find important. I'll leave a link to the full cutscene in the description below. Dearest Scarlet, if I have already fallen prey to the Order, these are the only people I trust to help you stop them. Okay, Dad. Let's see what these friends of yours can do. Just from that part of the video that I just showed, we see Scarlet coming away from a car crash after chasing the people who kidnapped her father. She sees a plane fly above her, assuming her father is inside. She then glances at a letter her father left her stating that if anything happened to him, to trust these three people in helping stop the order. These three people obviously being Shaw, Diego, and Bruno. This letter provides an explanation on how Scarlet knows of these three random guys and how, they, how she meets them and convinces them to help her on her journey to find her father and defeat the order. Now, I have seen some people ask, asking this question and I even had a sub ask me in a stream why are the vampires and werewolves in this map like what is the actual point of them now I know this is probably not what people want to hear but I'm not entirely sure myself why exactly vampires and werewolves are in the map or how they fit into the main storyline although I do know that this story is taking some inspirations from different mythologies and legends such as Greek mythology which includes the god of Zeus, Norse mythology which includes Odin, and Irish mythology which encompasses the goddess Danu. So obviously in that case vampires and werewolves are totally on the table as viable options to add to the story which they couldn't really do with the Aether storyline. Adding vampires and werewolves just add a another layer of just mystery to the story like how did they how did they evolve what brought them to life how how do they even exist all those sorts of questions i compare them similar to the real or the apothecons in the ether storyline now they might not have as big of an impact as they do to the story but people constantly question like who are the real who are the apothecons why are they doing what they're doing? It just makes you think for why are these creatures in this storyline? What is their purpose? That is all Treyarch wants you to think about. What is the purpose of this stuff? They do it with every map and Dead of the Night is no different. Now I've seen some people arguing that this map is really not necessary, but I am one of the people that uh, in the other boat where I feel like this map was necessary to help provide story information and backstory on why Scarlet is so intent on finding this mysterious group called the Order. 
it also provides an explanation on how our four main characters, Scarlet, Shaw, Diego, and Bruno met. Like, why why did Scarlet just adopt these three grown-ass men to steal something off the Titanic? That doesn't make any sense. Now, with this storyline information and this map, which provided it, we know we now know exactly why Scarlet is doing what she's doing on Voyage of Despair. I know I may be in the minority here, but I also feel like Dead of the Night is a good map, as although it doesn't progress the story from 9, which is probably what they should have done with this first map, considering the poor launch of Black Ops 4, just maybe continuing it, not giving a back backstory map straight away, that's probably left a sour taste in everyone's mouth. Maybe just continue the story from 9 and what happens after that. Other otherwise, it's a good map besides the marketing and their choice. That doesn't take away from the map itself. It's a really good job at helping us understand the backstory of these characters and what happened sort of to form the crew that they are now. As this is the crew that we're going to be playing in, in Black Ops 5 or whatever they call it. Because from sources from Treyarch and leakers and stuff the ether storyline ends in black ops 4 the great war is the final map and that is the complete eth story now i don't know if that is true but that is what people have been saying as always be sure to drop a like on the video and subscribe for more content make sure you go subscribe to my newly created second channel and twitch channel and follow my Twitter if you want updates. Also, join my Discord server to stay up to date with any of the announcements that I make over there. If you feel like supporting me, then you can also do that too. All links are in the description below. Peace out.